Nigeria's National Industrial Court, sitting in the Federal Capital Territory, has struck out a suit instituted by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, against the Federal Government of Nigeria and the Registrar of Trade Unions, challenging the emergence of Nigeria Association of Medical and Dental Academics, NAMDA, and Congress of University Academics, KONUA, as academic trade unions in universities. In his judgment, Justice Benedict Kanyeb ruled that Section 27 of the Trade Union Act allows for more than one trade union in employment. Justice Kanyeb held that there is a white space for trade unions as no academic body has the power of exclusivity. The Industrial Court therefore declared that the then Minister of Labor, Chris Ngigi, and the Registrar of Trade Unions were right to have made the existence of NAMDA and KUNUA official. Speaking after the pronouncement, counsel to the federal government, Ita Enang, while echoing the judgment of the presiding judge, said the labor space in Nigerian universities is now open to KUNUA and NAMDA. He, however, stressed that more trade unions may emerge in the university environment in the future. Academic Staff Union of Nigerian Universities, ASU, sued the federal government, the federal minister of labor, and the register of trade unions, and the National Association of, Men of uh, Dental and Medical Academics, and the uh, Congress of University Academics, claiming that the union should be annulled because ASU is the exclusive trade union in the university labor space. So they came to court. So the court has today declared that there is a white space to play and that there is no uh, exclusivity by academic staff union and that the Ministry of Labor and the Minister of Labor, Senator Chris Mwabweze Ngige, the former Minister of Labor, was right with the Registrar of Trade Unions to have registered the two unions, Konwa and Namda. The counsel to Namda said he was able to convince the court that his clients are widely distributed in the university and tertiary institution space and they are integral to the training of doctors. In the same vein, the counsel to Konua lamented the humongous amount of money Nigeria loses to neighboring countries in the name of educational tourism while recounting his ordeal as a victim of strike actions during his days as a student. As far as my client is concerned, NAMDA, NAMDA made the case that the, its members, even if you say that ASU is the body, is the union in academics in the universities, the members of NAMDA, they cut across the university and the tertiary head institutions that are involved in the training of doctors. And these persons, they've never been unionized. And so you can, it, will know, it will have been very bad if they are blocked because the, 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 the training of the medical and dental student cut across the university and the tertiary head institutions. My, the, my, the basis of my disagreement with everything that, every law that was going on, if you know how much Nigeria is losing to educational policy, Togo, Ghana, South Africa, you should be shocked. And it's because of what? It's because of the unstable academic environment. Um, the reason why I bought into Cornwall is that, one, we, we want a stable academic. Uh, period. I was also a victim. Let five years of uh, 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 academic program, let it be five years, not five plus X years. X is the number of months, years that you cannot determine. And as of today, I, it's victory for the society. Victory for the society. The national president of Konoa, Dr. Nii Sumono, expressed happiness with the judgment affirming their existence while stressing they are not a party to incessant strike actions in Nigeria's tertiary institutions. The court um, has vindicated the position of Kona from the word go that there is no trade union monopoly, that there is freedom of association and uh, the court has just done that. 
So our reaction is that of happiness. We appreciate the court. We appreciate the federal government through the Ministry of Labor and Employment for taking painstaking effort. Because the court today has vindicated them too. It has shown, the court has shown that that ministry under the leadership of Senator Dr. Chris Nwabweze Ngige actually did the right thing, right thing in registering new trade unions in the academic environment in the tertiary institution. And that more can also come because that's the implication. One of the implications of the court pronouncement, there is no trade union monopoly. Uh, With this verdict, it remains to be seen how the plurality of trade unions in Nigerian universities will play out and help Nigerian students solve the popular algebraic expression of 4 plus X, where the X stands for the years of strike actions in universities. In Abuja, Nigeria's capital, Abiodun Mohamed, Top Accolade News.